Hi everybody, welcome to Big J's Review. I went through Amazon and I decided to buy this uh, adapter. It's supposed to shoot um, a mirror image of your iPhone or iPad onto the TV. It cost me $28.08. It's by uh, what, WESOO, Weasel Lightning Digital AV to HDMI. So this is just an unboxing right here. Uh, you guys, guys can see in the back right here. HD adapter for iPhone supports iPhone featuring line connector blah 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 and you have to connect it to a USB you know my TV has a USB so I'm probably going to connect it to there if not then I do have that adapter uh, to plug it on the wall here's the side right here uh, let's see what else I can show you guys okay and let's pull this out Oh, already comes with the adapter. So here's the HDMI. You plug that. Plug this to your phone and plug this to the wall. Let's see how long. All right, sorry I'm back. My phone kind of went crazy when I started unraveling this. So uh, the cord is pretty long. It's a pretty long cord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and test this out on my TV, see if it works, see if it's worth the $28. So, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I, well, I already see a problem right here. As you can see, my HDMI is right there. And obviously, I have one of these USB things to connect right there. Hopefully, that works. But this cord, really, I thought it was long enough. But it's not. Look at that. I mean, it's short. I would have to get, like, a surge protector and just plug it like right here so this cord right here where it plugs in is pretty short so if you have a tv that doesn't have a usb thing and i'm not even sure it's going to work i'm just going to plug it in and i'm assuming it's going to work uh there might be a problem there so i'll pause the video for right now and see what happens okay well i just finished playing with it um uh, basically i have to plug this to the wall uh, i got a, extend, uh, a surge protector to extend it and plugged it in that was a major downer i thought maybe i could just plug it and one of the USB ports on my TV. Nope. I, you have to do it to a wall. In my case. It might be different in your case. Second of all, I was. it does. As soon as you plug it to the wall, it comes right up on the TV. Uh, I really wanted to show you guys, but it was just way too much work. So I'll just kind of just briefly tell you what happened. Uh, I checked the... When, when you click on YouTube, it works. It works pretty good, actually. It's actually well synced, the audio and the video. Uh, there's a little bit of lag, but... Uh, it comes out really good if you're watching YouTube videos. But if you actually watch a video that you made on your iPhone or on your iPad, like I had just a, a video I shot with the iPad, uh, that has an audio sync delay. So you're, it's almost like you're watching a foreign film where it's, it's like the voice or like you're talking but nothing's hearing and then the sound comes later. It's way out of sync. Uh, I tried playing Netflix. For some reason, it wouldn't work. Um, and I thought it was supposed to work with Netflix, but it, I guess, and I don't know if it's certain movies or not, but the I, I tried two movies and it just wouldn't work. I tried, you know, like some movies from Facebook. Uh, nope, those wouldn't work either. Uh, for some reason, they, they would not play. Uh, so the only really thing, the only reason why, I mean, as far as videos would be just YouTube. Um, now, if you want to show, I think this is great if you want to show like, for example, because it does mirror your iPad, everything you're doing. So if you start up a game, it shows on TV, um, you know, playing the game. Or it actually is just a mirror image of your screen. But that's not the reason why I bought it. I bought it actually uh, to show some videos that I have on my device. Uh, some videos and to put on TV. But I can't, I mean, that lag on the audio really does bug me a lot. So I'm going to try and return this if I can. Um, I don't really recommend you buy it unless you're going to, like I say, just want to mirror like on your desktop, play some games or even watch YouTube. But YouTube, most TVs have a YouTube app on it. So, all right, guys, that's just basically my review on this. If you have any comments, suggestions or requests, please leave them in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching.